outlets from what pictures, and today, well, there's a lot of things I could talk about, but today I'm going to talk about why it's okay to be a realist. <laughs> Everyone's got their own little interpretation. <laughs> Mike's just f***ing going <laughs> sick. <laughs> Alrighty then, so I'm going to take the definition of what a realist is from the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> okay, so realists. Realists have a firm grip on reality and can see things for what they are, not what they are told they are. Realists have their own views and do not fall victim to propaganda, misconception or titles. And just to compare, there's different types of people. Well, obviously. But there's pessimist, an optimist and a realist. Sounds like a joke. <laughs> or walks into a bar. So there's the pessimist who believes the glass is half empty. There's the optimist who believes the glass is half full. <clears throat> and then there's the realist who knows it's just half a f***ing glass. But why? Why is this a good thing? Surely it's better to believe in something than nothing, right? Well, not necessarily. And don't worry, I'm just throwing another view out there in the world. So please don't bite my head off in the comments. Okay? Or do. Or do. No, please don't. No, please don't. Well, what is there to say? about a realist. Well, for starters, everything's a lot more to the point. There's no hoping for the best, and there's no staring into the abyss. There's just what's in front of you, and that's it. Sounds a bit sad, but for an example, when you're waiting on a friend who's notoriously known for being late or not even turning up, and it's already half an hour after you guys said you were gonna meet, the pessimist in you will be upset and will start to think that you're in the wrong, and the optimist in you will be sure they're just running a bit late, and that there's a good explanation. Whereas the realist in you just no, they're probably not even going to show up, and they've already started their backup plan knowing that this wasn't going to happen in the first place, just because that's what was going to happen. I'm glad the coffee's making you happier. It is. I like it, it's good. I like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so there's never that lingering feeling of despair or that glimmering piece of hope. Just good old logic and reason that enables you to deal with the situation as quickly and effortlessly as possible. Now, I'm not saying that pessimism or optimism is a bad thing. We'll probably cover those things in some other episodes which we will. They're just different ways to view life. And if you fit into one of those categories, then no biggie, that's just who you are. That's fine. So why is it okay? It's okay because being a realist always helps you prepare for the worst, even though they're actually hoping for the best in any situation. But it's only because we've considered all the other options that could occur and we know there's a possibility of something going wrong. Realists don't trust everybody. And that's a good thing. Not that trusting people is a bad thing, but other people may have different intentions to you. And taking precautions is just a sensible thing to do. Realists believe that hard work is what gets us to where we want to be. Because no matter how many times we sit on the toilet accepting our Oscar or finding out we've just won the lottery, the only thing that will get us where we want to be is our own hard work. And have the knowledge to know that things don't just happen on their own. There are lots of positives to keeping a cool head when it comes to things in our lives. And being a realist only allows us to see what's in front of us and act accordingly to what may probably happen, as opposed to what we hope may happen. And manages to keep us constantly looking out for ourselves in situations where others may struggle. Though it's a very dire way to look at the world as this money-grabbing, death-filled, soul-crushing machine that will only bleed you dry until you have nothing left, then we just see the world and just how it is. It's, it's fine. I'm, I'm only joking. Or am I? Thank you very much for watching, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we release content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. And plus a new short film at the end of this month, so be sure to check that out. Go check out our new short film called Kanojo. It's uh, quite scary. Is it? I believe so. Could be. Might be. Also please check out our Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, all the stuff that we do. And also check out our Patreon page where you can just give any sort of change that's just lying about. Give it to us so that we can carry on doing what we're doing here at What Pictures. Um, don't make it too much. We don't want much of your money. It's fine. I've been your host Matt Lister and today, that today, and that's why it's okay to be a realist. And I'll see you soon.